You guys know that I leveraged real estate to quit my job, but am I anomaly or are other people really capable of that? Truth is I've seen so many people do that and today I wanna to talk about how you leverage real estate so that you can quit a job. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. So today I am joined by Jack. How we doing brother? Good, Chris. Jack has come out to one of my events here. We put him on every single quarter. Are you enjoying the event so far? I love the events. This is my second one. So everyone's different, new perspectives. You can't, they don't get old. Awesome, I'm, I'm happy to hear that. The reason why I wanna have this conversation with you is you're one of my real estate partners. We're now getting in on a couple of different deals, but you have a very specific motivation. For you, it's how can I leverage real estate, not to bring you necessarily home from work, but someone else, who is that? It's my wife, my wife, Lee. She's about two years my, my junior. I was lucky enough to retire last year. So she is um, desperate to retire. We have two young grandkids. Right. And she wants to get with them in the worst way. I totally get that. And me being at home irritates her to no, to no end. To no end. So now you're motivated to say, all right, I've worked my life. I've got some money set aside. We've been able to start getting in on some deals. And you're set to close your next deal in just the next two weeks. That's right. That's right. The next two weeks. And so really, this is all about how do I focus on deals that have the right kind of cash flow and can multiply to produce enough income to bring her home. The wonderful things about your, your partnerships is you give so many different varieties of, of paths forward. I'm a full believer in uh, leveraging. I've done it for years. Got burned in 2008. Right. Step back. Right. You've given me faith to go ahead and try it again. My wife's on board. And that's like, that's like 90% of the, the motivation. Wow. With your cash flow option, we can see within a half a year, maybe a year's time, we can bring her home comfortably. All right, what's up? Listen, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> it'll, it'll always be true that way. So, so important to know that. I'm so glad that you are recognizing what you want and then what you're doing that's different than so many people, Jack, is you're taking massive action. You know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready, I need more knowledge, I need to know more. And at some point, you have to say, all right, I need a certain amount of knowledge, I need a certain level of confidence, then I need the deals that will work, and then lastly, I need to act. And you've done all of those things. I have to say, I'm 65, almost 65, and I've seen a lot of the chaos in real estate, so I, I know it exists. So you, you can't do anything about that, but you've structured in such a way it's predictable with, within the context of, of, a, of a path forward. So that to me is, makes me feel confident. Yeah, and what Jack is specifically talking about is that there's so many people that are like, hey, what are you working on? Well, today I'm working on a multifamily deal, then I'm gonna work on a, a, an apartment complex, and then after that, I'm going to work on a single family deal. And you never master anything if you're focusing on being a jack of all trades. And in real estate, you know, we believe on having, you know, very specific focuses and then staying focused, staying on target. I found that single family was a predictable jam where that's the biggest real estate sector that individual families want. So it is the most expensive commodity out there. And we basically found a box to play in that it produces that predictability. I'm glad you're joining it as much as I do. You know, at this point, real estate's almost boring because it's just numbers and everything fits inside this box. And what's beautiful is how the formula works. And at the end of the day, it's just a matter of plug and chug and going and you're doing that. So I'm thrilled for your future and I'm thrilled for the next six, 12 months. I wanna personally know the day she gets to actually put her slip in, that she gets to be done, join you, enjoy the grandkids and move on to the next phase of her life. I'm looking forward to too. I used to be a jack of all trades, but now I'm a jack of a specific kind of trade. Yes, I love it. For those of you that are watching today, you know, whatever age you're at, you know, Jack, whether it's 65 and living his life in a way where he could retire the way that he wants, uh, or whether you're trying to get there sooner, or whatever it looks like for you to have the mobility and the options in your life to live the life that you want. You know, more than anything, retirement is usually not about not working, it's about shifting focus and doing the kind of work and the things that bring you fulfillment and joy. And real estate, I have found to be one of the best vehicles for creating an early exit or a reliable one that can actually make that happen for you. So. If you wanna learn more about that, if you wanna learn more about Jack's journey and what he's doing to bring his wife home, then I'm gonna invite you to click the link below. You got a chance to connect with my team and learn what that looks like. In fact, there's a document that you have access to get for free in the link below. 
It's what I call Chrome Consortium. It's my track record on my last 4,000 deals, about a billion dollars worth of real estate. When you got that document, was that useful for you in kind of understanding the track record of this thing? Absolutely. The, the thing about real estate is that there's so many fake opportunities out there. Yes. So when your opportunity came along, I was skeptical yeah. because of, of the past and the things I've done. You lay it out, it's open, it's an open book, and it was, there was nothing there that, that came up and made me concerned. Yeah, I think, you know, it's interesting. When I got started and I was doing my first deal, I had no track record and people were skeptical. My father-in-law was like, why are you buying a house? You're 22 years old. It just seemed premature, right? Like, why are you doing that? I remember when I bought my second and my third house, I had my friends kind of scratching their head. None of them, I had caught the bug. I had a drive. I wanted to be free. And none of them quite got that. You know, at that age, it's like, go to college and focus on education. You're not even in career mode yet. I'm like, by the time I'm done with college, I want to be done with career mode. Not because I don't want to work, but because I want to do a different kind of work. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that when I got my 50th deal under my belt, people started saying, you know what, this track record is like <laughs> catching on. But my real track record came in 2008 and nine. Right. When the market fell apart and we started soaring, it was three, four years later that people realized, wait a second, you kill it when the economy is up and then you make even more money when the economy is down. Doing a track record on thousands of homes has now got us to a point where it's, it's not a question of does the system work. It's not a question of, of, you know, are the numbers good enough. Now it's just an understanding of we have a track record, this is predictable, and does this fit where I want to go. I'm glad it fits for you. It doesn't fit for everybody, but the link below has that document. You can get it for free. Cover the shipping. My team will send it out to you and get your hands on that track record. It comes with my entire system of how I do this. And if it can benefit you in your own life to going and doing real estate, I want you to have that tool. I want to thank you, Jack, for being here today. Thank you, Thank Chris. you for sharing more of your story. I'm looking forward to doing an update video when your wife comes home from work because we're going to celebrate in we like are. the biggest way. We are. Dude, I'm totally pumped for you, brother. Thank you so much. Be good. All right, guys, take care. Make sure you subscribe. Links below. And we will see you tomorrow.